guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have my Happy HQ Awards or my Best in Beauty Awards, however you want to say it. Um, these are basically products that I've tested out in Happy HQ behind me. All the trialing, all the testing, these are just products that I can back up 110% products that I reach for time and time again and they just seem to be very, very good, consistent products and I absolutely love them. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So let's start off with eye bases. Now, I must admit, for the first half of the year, I was religiously using the NARS Smudge Proof Pro Prime Eyeshadow Base. It looks like this. It's just a clear base that you apply to your eyelids and it ensures that your eyeshadows last all day without creasing. I absolutely loved it. But then, towards maybe mid of the year, I did buy two MAC paint pots. I bought the shade Indian Wood, which is a gorgeous bronze shade. This one I do not use as much as the next one, which is Soft Ochre. This one has definitely replaced what I used to use my NARS eye primer for, purely for the fact that it does provide coverage to the eye, so it doesn't look odd when I have full coverage foundation on, and then like it kind of just stops here. Like if I was to use the NARS, it doesn't provide any coverage to my eyelids, and it just looked a little bit funny. Ever since I've been using the MAC Paint Pot, it provides coverage and longevity, and it also does what the NARS primer does, which makes my eyeshadows more vibrant also. So yeah. The standout product for the year has to be the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. It's definitely blown NARS out of the water. And bear in mind, that is a big thing to say because NARS has been at the top of the Happy HQ primer list for, I think, two or three years now. So that is a big, big deal to me. Love that. Indian Wood is also a really, really beautiful eye base, but I feel like Soft Ochre is just more universally usable for me, especially on a daily basis. So now I'm going to talk about a few palettes that I have loved. So the first one goes to the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. I definitely do like this one a lot more, or at least this year I've used it a lot more than I've used the first one. This is what it looks like here. This one here, which is called Cover, I'm about to hit pen on that so badly if you can see it there. This is just an amazing palette, just gorgeous all around, beautiful palette. I don't really need to say anything more about it. This palette I have used to death, like can we just talk about how much I have used this nudie shade? Oh my goodness, this palette is my perfect everyday go-to palette, I love it so much. If you're in the market for a very, very basic, however very versatile palette, this is definitely one that I would recommend you keep in consideration. It's absolutely gorgeous and I don't even think I told you what it's called. It's called the Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette. They do also have a natural matte, but I do think I prefer this one more purely for the fact that it has my matte shades that I like to use and then it also has shimmer shades as well. This is a completely matte palette. This is the Becca Ombre Nudes palette. I use this palette for a consistent probably three or four months on a daily basis and it's absolutely stunning. Every time I would wear this eyeshadow palette, I would always get compliments on the eyeshadows on my eye. And don't get me wrong, I never used to do very intricate eyeshadow looks like they were always very very plain and very very simple but people were commenting on the shade and the tones of my eyeshadow and that's why I definitely wanted to give this palette a mention because it's really gorgeous very versatile you can do quite natural looks or you can include some more of the darker tones really really beautiful really blendable the only thing that I must say about this palette is that it is slightly powdery so definitely put that into consideration when you're debating if you're wanting to buy another palette of course, I have to mention the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palettes. The original one definitely got a bit more use than the Semi Sweet. The Semi Sweet was still a very, very nice palette. This is what the Semi Sweet one looks like. Definitely still got a good amount of use, but definitely not as much as its little older sister, which is the first one. This one I used to death. It's just an amazing palette. It smells like chocolate. If you're looking to buy somebody a gift, I would definitely recommend this one if you can spend the money on it. Okay, moving on to individual eyeshadows. The first one that I want to mention is Nylon from MAC. This is just a gorgeous, gorgeous like highlight, especially for the peak of the eyebrow or on the inner corner. It is an amazing, stunning shade. Another one is Soft Brown. This is just an amazing crease transition color. I don't even know if you'll be able to see it on my hand, but it's absolutely stunning. 
Swiss chocolate is also a really, really gorgeous one as well. Perfect for nights out if you just want to amplify the crease a little bit. This one, I got a lot of compliments every time I wore it. This is Sumptuous Olive from MAC as well. And you can definitely layer this one up to be more intense. Or you can just have one layer and keep it more muted. It really just depends on what you feel like doing that day. And then last one from MAC is Sable. This is an absolutely gorgeous, like taupey, silvery, gorgeously rose goldy. I don't know how to describe it, so I'm just saying random tones to you guys. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I love those shades from MAC. I also forgot to mention Sketch. This is a beautiful one if you want to darken up your eye look, but you don't want to use black. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous burgundy shade. So from Makeup Geek, I do have one favorite and it is the shade Mocha. It's this one here. It's just the most perfect true brown and this is it swatched on the back of my hand. It's absolutely gorgeous. From Makeup Forever, I'm only going to include one shadow. These two shadows I picked up from iMats and I feel like I haven't owned them for long enough to include them in my yearly favorites. So I am only going to mention this one. I've owned this one for quite some time now. This one is in the shade I662. This is the perfect bronze shade, at least for me. It's an amazing texture and seriously, it's just an amazing quality eyeshadow. And this is it there. This shade with MAC Indian Wood Paint Pot underneath, oh my dear goodness, like it is a bronzed goddess heaven. Of course, I have to share some ColourPop single eyeshadows with you guys as well. I have three, and you can see that they're very, very similar in tone. So the first one here is in the shade Amaze. This is an amazing color. <laughs> did you see what I did there? Amazing, amazing shade. I'll swatch it for you guys. It's just an amazing, amazing color. I love it so much. The next color is the shade Lala. This is like the perfect rose gold tone. I love this one so much. And that is that there. I use this on my birthday and seriously, I love it so much. It brings back such good memories. And the last one is Sequin. I believe I used this one on Valentine's Day. Obviously, I've used it more than once this year, but like that's the day that stands out to me the most. And this is the most pink out of the three. So the next thing that I want to talk about is eyeliners. Now, I do have a favorite eyeliner. However, it did get to discontinued this year. It was the Rimmel Scandalize Cole Kajal eyeliners. I love them all, but they did get discontinued, so I'm not going to talk about them in this video. But I am going to talk about two liquid liners that I've been obsessed with. Now, you guys would know I don't really wear liquid eyeliner all that often, but when I do, I do reach for these two, and I do love them so much. This one is the L'Oreal Super Liner Perfect Slim. This is a felt tip eyeliner, and you can get an amazingly black line with it I guess. I don't really know what else to say about an eyeliner but I do definitely reach for this one if I want to do the wing on my eye and then to do the rest of my eyeliner I love using this bourgeois clubbing eyeliner. It's such a random name for an eyeliner but it's called clubbing liner clubbing. It's not even called clubbing liner. It's called liner clubbing and I just have mine in the black shade. It just lasts really well. It is a brush tip applicator not a felt tip applicator but look how thin it is. Like hold on. Like, can you see how thin it is? It's just an amazing eyeliner, and you can get a super, super thin line, or you can get a super, super thick line. Mascaras. I was looking back, and I was like, nah, I don't really have a favorite mascara. And then I was going through my mascaras, and I was like, actually, no, I do have a few favorites. One that I love for my lower lashes is the L'Oreal Butterfly Wings Mascara. This is the wand here. I definitely need to pick up another one because this one is very dried up, but it just gets the lower lashes perfectly. This one is the Max Factor Masterpiece Glamour Extensions 3-in-1 Volumizing Mascara. This is the type of one where it's larger at the top and skinnier down the bottom. It's a really, really amazing for volume. This one is two years running. This is the Maybelline Great Lash Lots of Lashes. This is what the one looks like, and I love this one. It's so good. For fake eyelashes, basically the only lashes that I've worn all year are the Ardell Wispy Lashes. I love them so much. I'm wearing them today and the only glue that I use to apply them is the Duo Lash Adhesive. These two together are lash, a lash made in heaven. Actually, yeah, that could work. We're going to roll with that. Lash made in heaven. Love it. 
Before I forget, I do want to mention my eyelash curler. I don't feel like I include this in many of my videos at all. I did go through a stage this year where I didn't use an eyelash curler, but I definitely noticed a difference. Um, this one is the Shu Umra eyelash curler. I've used it for a few years now, and it's an amazing, amazing eyelash curler. I would highly recommend it if you're in the market for an eyelash curler. It is expensive, but I do feel like it is worth the money. For brow pomades, I love the Anastasia brow pomade. I have dark brown and also medium brown. It's just a brow pomade that looks like this. <laughs> I love it so, so much. But Chi Chi actually caught me off guard and they came out with a brow pomade. I have mine in the shade dark brown. I've actually filmed a first impressions on it. And this one is a lot more creamier. They're definitely not the same consistency. Um, this one is a lot more creamier than the Anastasia, but they're both really, really good. I do have Chi Chi in my eyebrows today though. For brow powder, I have been obsessed with this one from Sigma. If you want to purchase Sigma items, I do have a link down below. Um, but this one is the brow powder in the shade medium. This is so much better than the Anastasia one. The Anastasia one is shit. This is the Anastasia one here. Like, it is so shit. Like, look how small the pan is, first of all. Like, this one you get so much more product. The Anastasia you get two times 0.8 grams. So you get 1.6 grams in this. This you get 2.5 grams. You almost get double and it's like the same price. And this, the shade is better and it's more pigmented and it just looks nicer on the eyebrows. This is shit. Do not even waste your money on the Anastasia one. Check out the Sigma one. It's really, really good. It's been the brow powder that I've been using so much. And then for brow gel, you cannot go past the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper. I have mine in the darkest shade and I actually have three backups of this because I love it so much. It's just an amazing, amazing brow gel. Okay guys, so that is all the products that I've been loving for the year of 2015 in terms of eyes. I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below some of your staples for 2015 that I should definitely check out this year. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.